after going the first five league games of the season without a win, we have turned it around and won the last three games 3-0. Can we keep that run going today with two London derbies away to Arsenal and Tottenham? <laughs> Hello guys, it's me, Bad Jokes, back at you once again with another video. And today guys, we've got episode number two of More To Win, my West Ham United series on the 1966-67 database that has been made by the Mad Scientist. His link will of course be down below, so you can download his database and have a go for yourself. And yeah guys, like I said in the intro, we went five games at the start of the season without a win. And I was starting to panic, I was starting to think that this was going to be a continuation of the Watford save. Where we didn't get a win in 15 games I think it was, and we ended up getting sacked. But luckily we have started to turn things around. Three 3-0 three wins in our last three games. But if we go from where we started on where we started off the season... We started off with a 1-1 draw. You saw that in the last video. We didn't really perform that well in that game. Johnny Byrne getting us an equaliser. A draw, probably the right result on the day, I think. And following that up, we should have got a draw against Liverpool. Because as you can see, we was 2-2 after 90 minutes. Jeff Hurst getting us an equaliser in the 90th minute. And then I thought we had a point. I thought we had it all sorted. But unfortunately not. Ian Callahan with a goal in the 94th minute of a game that was only supposed to have 93 minutes. How that worked, I don't know. Big team bias is my only suggestion. And so, yep, yeah, they got the win there. We had a couple of decent performances in that game. Jeff Hurst and Johnny Byrne, both, both of our goal scorers. Getting some re really good performances there. 7.7 .7 and 7.9. And then following that up, we had an awful game against Chelsea. 3-1 win. We just never looked like getting anything going. Sissons and Byrne, the only players to have decent performances. Johnny Byrne, obviously with a 7.9, had a very good game. But other than that, mostly everyone was quite poor. So, yeah, we're going to move on from that one quite quick. And then we did get a win, but it was still an awful performance. 0-0 against Bolton, who I believe are in the second division. Yes, they are. So they're a team we really should have been beating, if you're going to be honest. But we got a 0-0 draw in normal time. We did manage to win it on penalties. We were very clinical from the penalties. As you can see, we scored all four of ours, and they only scored one of their three. So that's how we managed to get through that game. And then we got a 1-1 draw against Man City. Maybe that should have been their first win of the season, with Redknapp getting his first ever goal for the club. He had the best performance for us, I think you can say. 7.1 and a goal. Off the bench, I believe he came off. If I remember rightly. And so, yeah, he had, he had a decent performance. We thought we had it. Ralph Brand getting an equaliser in the 91st minute to deny us. And following on from that, Southampton were bottom of the table, I believe, when we played this game. And yeah, 3-0 win. They absolutely bossed us. What was our best performance of the day? Uh, Ron Boyce on a 6.8. So, yeah. That shows just how bad we was. But then we went for a new tactic. We went for the 4-3-3 wide. Which I'm going to show you boys and girls in a minute. And so let's have a look at the first game with it. Johnny Byrne getting one goal. Martin Peters getting himself two. And we played much, much better. I mean, look at some of these ratings. Peters with two goals. 9.5 rating. 
a Peter Braybrook on an 8, Burkitt on an 8.5, Burnett on 8.7, and Johnny Burnett on a 7.8. And yeah, we played so much better. And then following on from that, Leicester 3-0 again. Martin Peters with a hat-trick to make it five goals in, what, three days for him? So, very good return from him. Eddie Bovington getting the other one as well. No, sorry, that's two goals for Peters. Getting confused, I can't, I can't read. 90 plus one minutes. That's two, so that's four goals, sorry, in three days. And, yep, we followed that up again with another 3-0 win against Leicester. That first one in the League Cup, as you can see. And this is where Peters got his hat-trick. 47 minutes, 74 minutes, and the 92nd minute. So that does make it. Out of our nine goals in the last week, seven have been scored by Martin Peters. So hopefully we can carry that on today. And let's go and have a look at the tactic that has been working so well for us. And this is going to be the team for today's game. I believe everybody's fit. Yes, they are. we got Mackleworth in goal. Charles Moore, Bickles and Burnett as our back four. Bobby Moore, how's he been doing in his last five games? Is that going to show me? No, it's not. I'm going to have to look, look at it myself, aren't I? Form, is there anything right where I can see over the last five games? There probably is. Is it not going to show me there? There it is, 6.7. So not a brilliant, but not awful either. And then in the midfield, we got Bovington, Redknapp and Hurst. Jeff Hurst playing in midfield. He's been doing all right as a Mazzala. I've tried to play him up top, but it wasn't really working out that well. So he's gone into midfield. And then we got Peters, our star man, on the left. Braybrook on the right, Burn up top, and yeah, that's going to be a team for today's game. We're going with attacking formation, attacking mentality, slightly sort of passing, running at the defence, rolling it out, distributing to fullbacks. Yep, guys, so that's going to be the team for today's game, and I will see you back here in a minute when we're getting ready to kick off against Arsenal. All right, guys, we're back. As you can see, Arsenal are the favourites for the game. They are fifth in the league. They've played seven, won four, drawn one, lost two. Whereas we've won two in the league, drawn two and lost three. But if we win this game, this will put us on 11 points. So we could get 10th or 9th possibly. So that would be quite nice. Uh, we've both got it's exactly the same form over the last five games. So I think we got every chance of getting a result here. And here we are. Arsenal going with a 4-3-3 formation. It's, yeah, that's George. Oh, who's that George Graham? No, it's not Charlie George. Charlie George playing up front for Arsenal. Ronnie Radford and uh, G Armstrong. If any Arsenal fans are watching this and you recognise any of these names, please do let me know. And let me know if, who, who was your best players at the time. We might see them today. They might put a few past us. We don't know. And so, yep, yeah, we're going with both similar formations, except our two players are out wide, whereas those are a little bit narrow. And so let's go team talk. Let's go passionate. We've been on a good one lately. No reaction. I have faith in you. I have faith in you. And I have faith in you. And that's got half the team happy. So let's, let's hope we can get a result. I'm going to put a prediction in. 2-1 us. 2-1 to us is what I'm saying. Now it's the first highlight of the game. 90 seconds in. Arsenal coming forward. Graham with the ball. Out wide to McNabb. He plays it back wide to Nils in oceans of space. And we're trying to get the ball away. But Arsenal are keeping hold of it. And now it's Yor on the ball. He plays forward. Bickles heads it away, goes to McNabb, whose cross goes into the box. It's off the bar. Oh, what a fluky goal that would have been. And we've scrambled the ball away. Six minutes into the game, it's our first highlight of the game. 
burn it with a free kick. And it's Dave Bickles with his first goal of the season. The central defender. What a header that was. From an absolute mile out. Burn it with it. And he crossed it in. And Bickles, yeah, almost at the edge of the penalty area. Quite poor goalkeeping, I'm going to say. Maybe their keeper should have got a hand on it. 20 minutes gone now. Bovington with the ball, heads it away. Samuels picks it back to Graham. Into Samuels again. And back to Graham. They're keeping the ball nicely between them two there. Neil with it, crosses it in again. And Armstrong's in behind the defence. And George Armstrong for his third of the season. Ah, oh, that's disappointing. Let's have a look at this on the replay. Samuels to Graham. Goes wide to nil. And his cross, a beautiful cross there. And Armstrong just getting in behind the defence for the easy goal. Burn it with a corner now. Graham heads it away. And it goes back to him. Braybrook. Peter Braybrook with his first of the season. And 23 and a half minutes gone. We've had three goals already. How many are we going to get today? And here we are on the replay. Graham headed it away. I think it was one of their men headed it back. And Braybrook with a nice little header there. Making it look easy. And now almost half an hour gone. We're coming forward again. Burn it. Can he find a teammate? He does. Bobbington's in space. Nods it to Peters. Who's been quite quiet so far today. Not anymore though. That is 3-1 to the Cockney boys. That is Peters' 8th of the season. His 8th in the last 4 or 3 and a half games. I suppose you would say. And yep, let's have a look at this. Peters cutting inside here. Leaving his man for dust. And then just arrowing the ball into the bottom right hand corner. The highlights are all non-stop at the minute. As it's Arsenal now with the ball. Tyra to McNabb. And he's got a lot of space here. He can play it forward. Armstrong with the ball. Is he going to cross it in? He does. But Bobby Moore, as ever, knows where to be. And gets the ball away. And now it's Jeff Hurst. Wide to Martin Peters. Beautiful pass that. Peters coming forward. Come on. And Bovington with it. To Hurst. To Harry Redknapp. And that goes over the top. But there's nobody there. McNabb tries to get it away. But does it lightly. And now it's Jeff Hurst. Crossing the ball in. And all in. Jeff. <laughs> what a fluky goal that was. I don't quite know what the keeper was doing there. Let's have a look at this again. McNabb tries to get it away. And then Braybrook plays it to Hurst. Who that is blatantly across. But nobody gets on it. And the keeper just... I don't know. The, the keeper's not very good, is he? One more highlight. How many highlights are we going to have? Can we get five before half time? That would be rather nice. And now it's Tyra with the ball. Wide to McNabb. McNabb with it. Crosses it in. And Ronnie Radford with the header. Thankfully that goes wide. Wow. What a first half that has been people. 4-1 to the West Ham. At Highbury. Oh my days. I am loving this. Look how clinical we've been. Six shots we've had. Six on target. Four goals obviously. Two there, eight shots with just two on target. And wow, wow, what a performance this has been. Let's get in, let's say hello to the lads. I'm very happy with the way things are going. Keep it up and everybody's delighted. And now let's see if we can get a few more by the end of the game. And now 55 minutes gone, burn it with a cross or corner for us, sorry. A cross it was, first time I got it right. And Bovington! With his second of the game. His fifth. Our fifth, sorry, of the day. Wow. I'm, I'm getting lost for words. We are scoring so many here. Burn it with it. Two red nap.
burn it with the cross. He headed it away. Neil did. Bovington absolutely thundered it past Bob Wilson, I think it is, in goal. Who's having, an, who's having a really rather surprising uh, poor game. 63 minutes gone now. And Dennis Burnett's been forced to go off. He's got an injury, an upper body injury. And unfortunately, we haven't got anyone else who can play right back. So Ken Brown is going to go in for him. Well, actually, I might put Bobby Moore out there. Yeah, we're going to try Bobby Moore out at right back. And we're going to see what he can do. And so 5-1 up. Do I make any other changes? Uh, yeah, you know what? Get, get Roger Cross on the youngster. On for Johnny Byrne. And let's see what Roger Cross can do. Ten minutes left in the game. Arsenal trying to scramble the ball away. Bovington gets it. Goes to Hurst. Wide to Braybrook. And Hurst. Redknapp unable to get onto that ball. And Arsenal are coming back at us. George Armstrong with the ball. Radford's in. And that is 5-2. Maybe a bit of a mistake putting Bobby Moore out wide. Because there was a definite hole in the defence there. I mean, let's have a look at this again. Armstrong comes forward with it. And then Radford with it there. And that goes into the back of the net. An absolute ocean in the middle of our defence. I'm not going to be making that mistake of putting Bobby Moore out wide again. There you go, guys. What a result. What a performance that was. 5-2 at the Fortress Highbury. Oh, my days. I was not expecting that at all. And now, where does that put us in the league? That puts us 11th above Manchester United. Wow. And so, if we win the next game against Tottenham, we'll be on 14 points. So, we could get 5th or 6th, possibly. And so, yeah, what a result that was. I'm going to go team talk. I'm going to go passionate. That was special, lads. Nobody gave us a chance. And they are all extremely delighted, as am I. And I'll be back with you guys in just a minute for the Tottenham game. All right, guys, we're back. And just before the Tottenham game, Parkera did ask me in the comments of the last video to have a look at the Manchester United squad. So we're going to have a very quick look. I don't want to keep the video too long because there was quite a lot of highlights in that last game. So we'll just have a very, very quick look at the main players. So Georgie Best, 20 years old, 19 flair, 15 technique, 15 finishing, 17 dribbling and pace 15. He's not as good as he's going to get, obviously, yet. But for 20 years old, I would take him. I would definitely take him at that age, if I was able to. And so, next one up, Bobby Charlton. Of course, won the World Cup with Bobby Moore in 1966. He's got 19 long shots, 18 concentration, anticipation 18, natural fitness 20. How's he been doing so far this season? Uh, three goals and three assists from 10 games. So, yeah, that's not too bad. I'd be happy with that. How's Georgie Best been doing? Only two goals. Little bit, little bit disappointing, I think you can say. And uh, who else we've got? Dennis Law. He's the last one we'll have a look at. If there's any more players you, you, you want me to have a look at, Parkera or anybody else, please do let me know. And Dennis Law, 11 appearances, no goals. So he's been quite disappointing. For 60 million quid, he's apparently valued at. I'd be wanting at least a goal every two games. Not 11 goals, 11 games without a goal. So yeah, that's the Manchester United squad very quickly. We're going with the same team as the last game, I believe. Uh, yep, Burnett is not fit. So he's the only one who's going to be dropping out. Get him off for John Charles. And John Charles plays on the left. But have you got anyone else that can play on the left? Uh, Jeff Burkett. There we go. And Jeff Hurst. Is he wanting a little bit of a rest? Uh, Ron Boyce. Do we put him in? Yeah, we'll put Boyce in and give Jeff Hurst a little bit of a rest. And so the team for the Tottenham game is going to be Mackleworth, Burkett, Moore, Bickles, Charles, Bovington, Redknapp, Boyce. Peters, Braybrook and Byrne. And Tottenham are the favourites for this game. 
They're eighth in the league. If we win this, we can jump over them. So that would be very nice to do. How they're the favourites, I'm not sure. When we've won our last four games and we've scored, let me do some maths, three, six, nine, 14 goals in that time. So how they're the favourites, I don't know, but whatever. Here we go, Tottenham going with a 4-3-3. It didn't really work well for Arsenal in the last game against us. So you never know. if it's. Good. don't think it's going to have much more success for Tottenham. At least I hope it doesn't. Uh, let's go team talk. Let's go passionate. Uh, again, I'll just say to them, we've been on a good run. No reaction yet, but uh, you can make a difference. You can make a difference. And so can you. And that's got about half the team again, either happy or confident. So let's go and see how we do. I'm going to go 3-1. 3-1 I'm thinking today. First highlight of the game is us with the throw in. Burn picks the ball up off Charles' throw in. Crosses it. Kinnear heads it away. Peters heads it back. And they're just playing a little bit of head tennis there. Peters tries to volley it. But it absolutely whacks the Tottenham defender on the arse. And we get it back. And Peter Braybrook with his second of the episode. And his second... Of the season. And we have the lead at White Hart Lane. Highbury has already fallen to the Hammers. Can White Hart Lane fall to us as well? As Bovington with a great cross. And Braybrook there. A little bit lucky to score. Again, Jennings should have done better. And oh, are they saying this is offside? Are they saying this might be offside? I don't think it was. I think we're okay. Ten minutes gone. Burkitt with it. Goes to Redknapp. Back to Burkitt. To Peters. To Harry Redknapp. He plays the ball long. And Byrne gets it there. The Tottenham defender failing to head of the ball there. Crosses it in. Boyce in oceans of space. 2-0 to the Cockney boys. 2-0. And Ron Boyce with a fabulous moustache on his photo there. If you can see it. And yeah, what a goal that is. Byrne did well. Did well getting the ball after Tottenham man failed to get the header. And Boyce was never ever going to miss that. Even I could have scored that, I think. Just about 20 minutes gone. Bond with the ball for Tottenham to Mullery. Goes out wide and it's Kinnear with the ball. Crosses it in. And we head it away thanks to Bobby Moore. But it comes in again. And this time, McElworth collects it. Highlight still going on. Peters plays the ball to Burn. Now, can he find a teammate out wide? He does. Burkitt with it. Can he cross it in? He does cross it in. And Boyce again in oceans of space. 3-0. 3-0 to the Cockney boys. It has taken us just 20 minutes to put three past Tottenham. And oh my days. Five before half time? That would be rather nice. And Peters immediately after that has got the ball on his favoured left hand side. Got it through to Burn. And it's four. It is four nil. Oh my gosh. This is going to be a bit of a longer episode people. Because we're scoring so many goals. And there you go, Burn off Peters' beautiful pass. And that's Burn's fifth of the season. <sighs> what do you say to that? <laughs> We've gone to Arsenal, put five past them. We're halfway through the game against Tottenham. We've put four past them. Can we make it ten goals from two games in London against Arsenal and Tottenham? Let's go there. Let's go team talk. Uh, Passing I'm very happy. And yep, let's crack on. Five we want. About ten minutes into the second half. Bickles has got a free kick. He's played it long. But Knowles has headed it away. But only as far as Braybrook. And he goes back to Charles. And now can he cross the ball? No, he doesn't. Goes to Redknapp. Into Bobbington, who's in an oceans of space. Peters has got lots of time there. That could have been the fifth. And now just about a minute later, Boyce again with the ball. Again to Bovington, who's in lots of space. Goes for the shot, and we're trying. 
We are definitely trying for that fifth. 20 minutes left in the game. Peters with it. To Redknapp. Back to Peters. To Harry Redknapp. To Bovington. Back to Burkitt. Now can we get the ball into the box? Goes to Peters again. Redknapp again. And Boyce with it. And he tries to play it there. And that gets cleared. But only as far as Charles. And we're keeping the ball very nicely. Tottenham just unable to get anywhere near us. And oh, what a pass that was. Five. We have hit five against Arsenal. Five against Tottenham. Not only are we the best team in the world, we are the best team in London, people. And what a pass that was. Burn to Bovington. Absolute perfection. Perfection there, knowing where every other man was going to be. And now Tottenham hoping to get what would only be a consolation goal. And now it's McKay with the ball to England. And we win it back there. Can we get a sixth? If we can get a sixth, that would be amazing. What a pass to Peters. And Peters, can he cross it? He does. Goes to Boyce and that goes wide. Alright guys, 5-0 up. Let's start making some changes. We're going to bring Roger Cross on up front. And we're going to take Harry Redknapp off. He's, a, he's had a brilliant game, an 8.7. But we're, So we're just going to give him a little bit of a rest. And we're going to get Trevor Brooking on. And we're going to see how he does for the last 15 minutes. And now Braybrook coming forward with the ball into Cross to Boyce. Six. Six we have now put past Tottenham. Braybrook getting past his man there. Into Cross and Boyce there with the goal. And that is 6 0 to the London, to the Cockney boys. And that's 3 for Ron Boyce. 20 seconds left of normal time. Peter's coming forward into cross. And Boyce is in space. And oh, I wanted 7. I wanted 7 so bad there. And wow. There it is indeed. The full time whistle. 6 0. One of my favorite. Favourite ever results on any result of Football Manager. Oh my gosh. 24 shots we had to their 15. 11 on target to their 7. And look at that. Everybody that started the game on at least a 8.7 I think it is. Yeah. So that is an absolute perfect result. Let's go and say hello to the lads. And we're going to go passionate. Uh, that was really special, lads. Nobody gave you a chance, but you played magnificently. Congratulations. And that, lads, is where we're going to leave it for today. A little bit of a longer episode today. I think I'm going to go back to doing just the one game per episode in future, just in case we do have more results like this. And so, guys, if you've enjoyed that, please give a massive thumbs up down below. Uh, all the likes, we've got six likes at the time of recording this, which is the most I've had in ages. It's been the fastest growing video, episode one was, that I've had in ages. So thank you to everybody for all the support. If you're new around here, please do subscribe to the channel as well. And thank you to everybody as well for their feedback on the black and white little bit of a gamble I took, but I think it works well. So we're going to keep with that as the series progresses. And so, yeah, guys, subscribe. Give me a big give, give me a big old like. Follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash badjokesgaming. Follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash badjokesgames for ETS2 content over there. And, yeah, guys, I think that's just about everything. Thank you so much for watching. I shall see you again soon. Bye.